Let's get into it. What a week. <laughs> Republican lawmakers and founding member of Maroon 5, George Santos, pleaded not guilty in federal court this week after he was charged with 13 counts of fraud and various financial crimes, including theft of public funds, money laundering, and lying to the House of Representatives, as well as using campaign donations to buy designer clothes. And of course, stealing America's heart. Some of the accusations against Santos haven't been previously reported. For example, prosecutors say Santos fraudulently collected over $20,000 in unemployment benefits, which he was ineligible to receive because at the time, and this is real, he was fully employed by a company doing a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> These charges are ridiculous, said Santos in court. The security tag still dangling from the sleeve of his J. Crew jacket. I will clear my name, he continued as he, as he placed his hand over the prosecutor's Montblanc pen and deftly slipped it off the table into his pocket. I killed with Malcolm during, uh, <laughs> during our read through. Hi, welcome. Thanks for coming. Traffic? Okay. You're the ones that hit traffic. Look around you. What did they know that you didn't know? <laughs> After being fired from Fox News, former host and current guy at a tennis club jokingly referring to his unemployment as a sabbatical before complaining that his salad is underdressed, Tucker Carlson <laughs> announced he will be relaunching his show on Twitter, a site he deems the only free speech platform left in the world. And with that, the lights on Twitter came up. <laughs> well, I make yourself at home. I don't know anything about the two of you, but I do know you're the reason that, they're, that you're late. <laughs> and with that, the lights came, <laughs> and with that, the lights on Twitter came up to full brightness, revealing its countertops to be disgusting and letting us know we don't have to go home, but we can't stay here. Hmm. Meanwhile, California's own Diane Feinstein made her return to the Capitol this week. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, said the triumphant senator as she zipped up the spray skirt on her kayak before her morning row in the Potomac. <laughs> <laughs> Feinstein was cleared to return to work by doctors as long as there isn't a single gust of wind in all of D.C. for the rest <laughs> of her term. In a statement, Feinstein said that while she continues to recover from shingles, her doctors have advised her that she maintain a lighter work schedule. Sure. I'm sure that's what her doctors advised. What, do when it, what doctor looks at a frail and declining 89-year-old recovering from what must have been severe complications from shingles to the point where she was unable to travel for months and say, you should be a senator, but take it easy at first. <laughs> On Monday, Harlan Crow, the Republican billionaire who has given Clarence Thomas lavish presents for the last several decades, rejected a request from the Senate Judiciary Committee to submit information regarding the gifts he's given Thomas or any other Supreme Court justice. Crow defended his actions, saying, hey, it's not my fault that that's Clarence Thomas's love language. We have acts of service and physical touch. We have... <laughs> We have serious concerns about the scope of any authority for this inquiry, Crow's attorney Michael D. Bopp said. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Michael D. Bopp said in a response letter to Senate Finance Committee Chairman Ron Wyden. Thank you, Mr. Bopp. This is obviously a witch hunt, and I'm confident that when it's all said and done, these critics will eat crow, which is exactly what Clarence Thomas had to do to get all that free shit. <laughs> it's gross to think about. At his CNN town hall Wednesday, Donald Trump played the hits, insisting, despite moderator Caitlin Collins' steady pushback, that the 2020 election was rigged. This must be the worst possible assignment at CNN, and you know someone had to clean up Don Lemon's low blood the time he pierced his ears live on air on New Year's Eve. Nobody remembers that. Okay. You remember it? Yes. Great. In one exchange, the audience laughed after Trump steamrolled Collins' questions about the former president asking then-Georgia Secretary of State Ben Raffensperger to help him rig the election. I questioned the election. You if asked this him to find was bad, votes. I didn't ask him to find anything. Let me We've just heard the audience. <sighs> I don't know why CNN insisted on holding the physical event at Arkham Asylum, <laughs> but I'm sure they have their reasons. When Collins pressed the former president for information regarding the stolen classified documents found during the FBI's raid of Mar-a-Lago, the audience laughed and cheered as Trump said this. Do you mind? 
I would like for you to answer the okay, question. Okay, it's very simple to That's answer. That's why I asked it. It's very simple to, you're a nasty person, I'll tell you. <laughs> Two ways you can look at this, all right? One way is that it's um, Trump being shitty. The other way is to think that Trump moved from nasty woman to nasty person. <laughs> People of all genders can be disgusting. And the green M&M wears Keds now. Gender inclusive win. When asked by Collins if he owed Mike Pence an apology for endangering Pence's life during the insurrection, Donald Trump said, hell no. Do you feel that you owe him an apology? No, because he did something wrong. He should have put the votes back to the state legislatures, and I think we would have had a different outcome. I really do. But he doesn't have the authority to do that, as you know. At this point, his relationship with Mike Pence is hanging on by a noose. After this week's... That deserved better from you. That was excellent. Thank you. Also this week, President Biden lifted COVID restrictions at the border while announcing a new set of measures to manage the rising influx of asylum seekers and a historic migration crisis that has seen record numbers of people seeking refuge in the United States. The first measure, officially renaming the country to Mass Shootapalooza. <laughs> what did you think this show was? <laughs> we take the news, we do this to it, and we shoot it back out at you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> These new rules are a shift in Biden's previous policy, which was just sending Kamala out there in a goalie uniform. Do not come. Do not come. <laughs> Beginning in what? Beginning in March of 2020, the Trump administration used Title 42 to turn away asylum seekers as part of the pandemic emergency. It wasn't good policy, but I will say it did stop a lot of asylum seekers from getting their hands on America's most abundant resource, COVID. <laughs> One of the new policies, first announced in February, will bar migrants who pass through another country from their country of origin on their way to the U.S. without seeking refuge there. However, if migrants make an appointment to seek asylum in the U.S. through the CPB1 app, they will be exempt from this rule. These people have escaped poverty and persecution, uprooted their lives, brought their families thousands of miles, risked everything, and now the toughest hurdle of them all, downloading a government-made app using rural Mexican data. <laughs> this topic is hard to joke about. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Shut up! I, it's weird. I don't want support, but I don't want antagonism. That's for therapy. I'll take that. Don't, I, don't tell me I've got this. Who was that? <laughs> I want you to know Malcolm is so terrified I'm going to engage with this. You've been like this all day. I have, but how do you know that? It's ridiculous. What? We don't even know who you are. Fuck. A committee in the Louisiana House of Representatives voted against adding exceptions for rape or incest to the state's anti-abortion law. Guess it's not as bad as when the state's tourism committee did it, but still, it's grim stuff. <laughs> yep, I know, look, this seems really bad until you realize that the people of Louisiana are really gonna need web toes if they're gonna survive what climate change is coming for them. <laughs> yep, that's good. Said a Republican lawmaker, my wife and daughter is here with me today to say they back this decision fully as he pointed at one woman. <laughs> An experimental fertility lab in London confirmed the first group of babies born by combining the DNA of three different people in a procedure that aims to eliminate rare genetic diseases. The lab went on to confirm that the combining of just one family's DNA also resulted in a baby named King Charles III. This week, the FDA announced that they are ending their discriminatory policy that prevents gay and bisexual men from donating blood and will instead update their questionnaire to reflect a focus on having multiple sexual partners, not because of the historic fear of STIs, but because of the wonderful benefits associated with dweeb blood. <laughs> I think it's beautiful and long overdue that the FDA is reallocating its resources from homophobia and toward worthy causes like slut shaming. <laughs> Speaking of dweebs, Mark Zuckerberg won gold and silver medals in a Brazilian jiu-jitsu competition in California last week. Last year, he said he took up mixed martial arts during the pandemic. You win again, Mr. Zuckerberg. You're so strong, Mr. Zuckerberg. Ow, 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 I give, I give, Mr. Zuckerberg. 
I love that one. I don't care. <laughs> Mr. Zuckerberg, wow, what moves? Ow, 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 I'm down again, and yet I'm so much bigger than you. How is it possible? Mr. Zuckerberg, you're incredible. I don't know who that is. It's like a Disney henchman. A man in Sacramento said he's lucky to be alive after his Tesla seemingly burst into flames while he was driving it. That's why you never, ever push the Vietnam protest button in a Tesla. The news this week has been absolutely wild. A man in Sacramento is under the impression he's lucky to be alive. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, the family of a man who died in a different Tesla crash is suing the automaker. Their lawyers entered as evidence a video from 2016 in which Elon Musk claims that the cars can drive autonomously with greater safety than a person. Despite the fact that the video has been on YouTube for almost seven years, Tesla's attorneys falsely claimed it was a deep fake. While the video may not be fake, one thing is certainly deep, the price cut on my Tesla. This thing is priced to move. Don't miss out. <laughs> Got a great Tesla. It rattles a bit. Too. Yours too, right? These things are unbelievable. Built with scotch tape. One's, one bump, you expect the doors to fall off. The great, he's, he's amazing. I was his biggest defender and almost and almost as if the car wanted me to know the worse Elon became at running Twitter, the more the car stopped working. With each passing day, less and less was functioning. Scientists in Australia have begun administering the chlamydia vaccine to koalas in the wild in order to fight against the disease, which causes blindness, infertility, and death in the animals. Unfortunately, it will be some time before it's once again safe to fuck them. <laughs> Not to slut chain koalas, but have they tried not being such little fucking sluts? <laughs> Guinness World Records recognize an Oregon dermatologist for detecting the world's smallest skin cancer spot, a mole roughly the size of the tip of a needle. Sadly, Tinkerbell is not expected to survive. Unless we all clap. <laughs> wow. Didn't work. <laughs> she died. A woman identified only as Lillian, who was found in the Australian bush after being missing for five days, revealed that I hated saying it. <laughs> revealed that she survived until her rescue solely on wine and candy. Okay, and that makes her a special why, because she did it outside? Anyone impressed by this clearly hasn't been to a poorly planned bachelorette party before. <laughs> A German man was discovered tied up in the woods with pantyhose on his head after his online date fled suddenly during role play, also known as a Deutsch exit. Yeah. And as the police released his ropes, the man said, Nein. <laughs> I gotta do the accent right. And as the police released his ropes, the man said, Nein, not so fast, do it slow up. <laughs> that was like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nein, not so fast, do it slow up. That was better. Nein, not so fast, do it slow up. That was it. Nein, not so fast. Do it slower. That's getting better and better. Wow. A Colorado woman who thought she had finally bought her dream home was shocked to discover hundreds of snakes living in the walls. Actually, this sounds a lot like a dream, said one of the snakes who could talk. The woman... <laughs> The woman realized she had an infestation when her dog started barking at a crack in the wall and she found a snake coiled up in it. Upon putting her hand on the wall, she could feel the warmth which she believed emanated from more snakes. <laughs> There's no housing crisis. We've just entered into a, news, a new phase of the American dream entitled, you get what you get and you don't get upset. And what you get is warm snake walls. You, doubtful of the American housing market, Hear walls full of snakes. I, a realtor with endless faith in capitalism, hears walls heated with renewable energy. <laughs> after throwing just six pitches, Major League pitcher Amir Garrett left a game after vomiting on the mound. Let's roll the clip. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I forgot to say we should roll it beforehand. This is why I can't be a professional athlete. Was he supposed to not eat room temperature clams before work? Tom Cruise is a, Tom Cruise. <laughs> I like that one. Tom Cruise is apparently extremely interested in Shakira after the two were seen together at the Formula One Grand Prix in Miami. Shakira, Shakira. That's it. <laughs> 
If anyone can pass Scientology's e-meter lie detector, it's Shakira's hips. <laughs> they famously don't lie. And finally, a metallic object assumed to be a meteorite crashed through the roof of a New Jersey home this week, which may have come from debris left by Halley's Comet. The homeowner was alerted to the incident when they heard a loud butta bing from the other room. <laughs> it's sad, the meteor traveled three billion miles and landed just 45 minutes from human civilization. <laughs> Eat shit, New Jersey, what are you gonna do? 